You know, I know what a dreamer is, but what, in your own words, what exactly is a dreamer for those uh, people who don't really understand? Um, the, the name is, is derived from the Dream Act, and um, it's basically any child who was brought here undocumented uh, by their parents, um, and they, they, they go up here at their school, um, and... I see. That's what it literally is. Uh Uh-huh. So, for this film, where did the idea of of the film actually came from? Was it it ripped out of the headlines, or was it something that hit personally with you guys? I think Jesse has a a very personal connection to the the story and to the immigration situation in the United States. So, Jesse, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I came here undocumented when I was three years old from El Salvador. And um, I, was, I, was, I was fortunate that because we, we were coming from the, uh, we were fleeing the Salvadoran Civil War, that um, we got uh, refugee status. And now I'm, I'm a permanent resident um, to be a citizen down the road, too. But um, I know a lot of people in this situation. I have family and friends who are still in the situation, and it's uh, it is very personal to me. Now, Jeremy, for for yourself, being born here in the United States, how were you attracted to this project? Well, um, I met Jesse when he had pitched me another script he had that he's getting ready to make right now, and um, and he said, "Well, we also have this other script called." called Dreamer, would you like to take a look at it? And I said, sure. So I read it, and, and right away I could tell that there was a lot of heart, and it was written with a lot of care, and, and he was deeply invested in this project. And, uh, you know, it was a chance to play a lead character that that's multidimensional and, you know, goes through a lot in the film. And, and I said, absolutely. I'd love, I'd love to come, come aboard. And I was kind of ignorant um, or naive in regards to dreamers and the dream act, and uh, definitely got a quick schooling on that. Now, this question is uh, technically for both of you, um, Jesse. Um, how did you research uh, for this script? And Jeremy, since you since you're not an undocumented immigrant yourself, how did you research for your role? Well, as far as researching for the role. You know, I have the I have the uh, the perfect sounding board when it's uh, you know in, in the director writer because of his situation and coming here undocumented and the people that he's surrounded by and um, you know he, he definitely brought me up to speed on on the on the situation and then when we were doing a Kickstarter he interviewed um, some dreamers and for our Kickstarter, like, mini-documentary, and, uh, and I got to learn from them as well. So, you know, when you, when you have, basically, what would be considered an expert on the subject directing and writing the project, it's, uh, it comes pretty, pretty easy, the, the knowledge does. And, and Jesse, how, how did you re- research all, all of this uh, personally? Since a lot of the, a lot of these type of stories didn't really occur with you, <laughs> I believe, right? Well, a lot of these stories were. I'm sorry. Well, what wasn't wasn't really with you personally? It's other people's stories. So, how did you research all the all these uh, little plot lines? Um, it's it just uh, the structure just came together. I mean, the, no, I don't know a, a dream of that taken in by a white family, but I thought it was a good metaphor to use to, to compare um, the families with, with countries and uh, just a good way to, to talk about it. But, um, I, you know, I, I have a lot of friends. I have, I have family that are still in this situation and just just uh, talking to them and, and, and how they feel, how, how helpless they feel. Um, it's, it's really all, all the research I needed to do. Yeah, I mean, personally, um, 
I mean, to tell you the truth, guys, my best friend, um, she went through the same ordeal with the driver's license and employment. And uh, she even lost her driver's license at a gym where they accidentally ripped off the uh, face of her driver's license and she couldn't get a new new copy. And that basically turned her life upside down, too. Wow. Yeah, that's a... Uh, so when I was actually watching your film, that uh, that re that really uh, hit hit me. But uh, but what were there a lot of these type of personal stories that uh, um, um, Jesse that you f you found that you needed included in the film? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it always you know it's, it's the small things that that people don't think about. You know that that they can't do. Um, you know, getting into, into a, a nightclub or uh, driving or uh, travel, anything like that, it's, it's just it's difficult for them. So I um, just wanted to show how, how something so simple can, can really cause a lot of, a lot of damage. Yeah, I can, t I can tell you from, from the experience, so far we've screened this film for thousands of people at various... Um, film festivals and events and universities <clears throat> and um, people have come people have come up to us and told us look um, I've never told anybody before but I'm a dreamer mm -hmm. and, and to have a film that, that affects people so much so that they're willing to come up to you and tell you that or or come up to us in tears and, and hug us and say hey look this is my story thank you so much for telling telling my story and I felt alone for so long, and now I feel like people understand what I'm going through or who I am. You know, that's, that, that in itself is an award. Um, and, and, and for me, it's been a humbling experience. Now, um, what do you say um, to critics that would call this like a, maybe a propaganda film then? <laughs> well, personally, I, I think that that yeah, we're telling you that there's a cause behind the film because there is. I mean, it's on the front page of the news every single day, the immigration debate in the United States. But I think we approach this as filmmakers um, in making a narrative feature film and not making a documentary. <clears throat> and um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's, a, it's a film that has a good story and it's entertaining. And that's what people have, you know, that's the feedback that we've gotten as well is, is hey, this isn't just a, you know, this isn't a documentary. This isn't, a, you know, you're not hitting people over the head with facts. You're telling the, you're telling the story. And people get in the, emotionally invested in the story and in the characters. So I, if, if the people that would say this is a propaganda piece, I would say open up your mind and look at it as a story. And, um... You know, that, that's really what it is. We're, we're storytellers. Mm -hmm. Jesse. 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 Hello? Yeah. Oh. Uh, if, 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 you, if they want to call it truth and what's, what's happening every day, if they want to, if they want to say that that, depicting that on the screen is propaganda, then, then um, I, I would say no, but they're entitled to their opinion. <coughs> So, so who's exactly the target audience for this film? I, I think it's a more mainstream audience. It's not. We're not really trying trying to preach to the choir. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is for dreamers, but um, and I think it's very empowering to see your story on on the, on the big screen. But it's 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 meant to for for a wider audience. You know, some someone who doesn't maybe doesn't know how. How, how, how bad it can be, how, how, how much of a struggle it is. So, um, just, a, just a more open-minded, wider audience, I think. Yeah, absolutely. For, I, I agree with Jesse. I think, for me, um, I'm so happy that the Dreamers get, a, get an empowering piece for themselves, but I want to make this film, and I want the message to get out about this film so that, you know, middle America, so everyday people in the United States can, who, who are watching or reading Yahoo News or, or whatever news outlet and, and judging um, undocumented immigrants unfairly 
and I, I really want the, the piece to show the humanity of the of the dreamer and to show the fear that they live in and no you know no human being should live that way mm-hmm. and then that's really who you know like Jesse said I think the mainstream mainstream audience is, is who I hope to really uh, take something away from this film now, on the timing of this film, um, President Barack Obama has already issued an executive order to help out these dreamers. And not only that, there is a Senate bill to help out, uh, um, hopefully, um, all types of um, immig- immigrants uh, in the next uh, few months. Um, so, it's, is this film um, perfect timing, is it, and is it still going to be relevant in the, um, in the future? So what were the greatest challenges to this film then? In making this film? Um, well, I think it's always tough in the independent film is raising the funds. Especially when you're doing more of a social issue type film. It's, I think it's always, uh, it's always tough to get the funding. Um, so, yeah, but we, I mean, we, we went to the, directly to the community and raised 50000 on Kickstarter. Uh, to get it started, and then toward the end of our post production, we went back to another twenty thousand. So over seventy thousand dollars for this project was contributed directly from the community. So that's uh, it's a really incredible thing. Wow! So uh, could you tell us um, in in the fu- in the future here uh, where can um, people could actually view uh, your film? Okay, terrific. And um, just one last question to wrap it up uh, for both of you. Uh, could you uh, tell me any um, future projects uh, um, beyond um, this 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 film that uh, you guys are going to be working on? Personally, well, I had I have a movie that just was in theaters for a month called Mission Park. Uh, before that, I had one um, called Blaze You Out. It was it was released earlier this summer. Um, and then I just wrapped on a film with Danny Trejo and Danny Glover called Badasses. So I have, you know, I've been just continuing to do good, good films is my, is my goal. <laughs> Keeping busy. And anything for you, Jesse, or are you just going to keep with this Dreamer project? No, I'm actually um, moving into pre-production on my next film. It's called The Father, The Son. And... Um, it's a, it's a story about a young man and his friend who go out into the Texas desert in search of his father's body to give him proper burial. It, he dies crossing over from Mexico into Texas, and they go um, out in search of him. So it's a, it's a really beautiful story, and I, I can't wait to get started. Okay, terrific. Hey, I appreciate you guys uh, taking time with me uh, to speak about the film. Appreciate it. Hey, no, thank you. You guys have a great day. You too. Thank you.